The band name came, comes from a story, the story of Jonah, and uh, it's just kind of if you're, if you're not familiar with this, the story is the story's kind of like uh, God called on Jonah to go save Nineveh, and um, he just basically comes out and says, "No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to. I'm not going to answer the call." And um, this is kind of the same kind of the same same thing that happened to um, me and Wade is um, God God called upon us we felt this tugging um, to go into the ministry to go into the music and and to just go out and spread the word but we made excuses for it we didn't necessarily say no God we're not going to do this but we made excuses for why we weren't already doing it we couldn't do this we can't do that we don't have this we don't have that and it was just it just didn't work out, you know, we just started making excuses for it. And when it comes right down to it, when God calls on you, He's always going to give you the ability to do it. Um, so, so God calls on Jonah, and He, and he says, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run away from God's calling. I'm, he's going to go to Tarshish, that's His plan, He's going to board a boat, board a ship, go to Tarshish, and run away from, from God. And... Um, all of a sudden, there comes this big storm. The sailors that are on the on the ship um, are talking, and they're, they're they're figuring out. Well, they're wondering why this big storm has has come upon them. Why why is all this happening to them? They find out that it's because Jonah, because Jonah's on there and he's run from what God's called him to do. So they figure out it's him. They throw him overboard. Well, God sends this huge fish, and it swallows up Jonah, and um, he stays in there. It says in there that he stays in there for three days and three nights. And while he's in there, he gets to thinking. He says, this is a psalm of thanksgiving. <clears throat> this is what Jonah is saying. He says, Then Jonah prayed to the Lord his God from the belly of the fish, saying, I called to the Lord out of my distress, and he answered me. Out of the belly of Sheol I cried, and you heard my voice. You cast me into the deep, into the heart of seas, and the flood surrounded me. All your waves and your billows passed over me. Then I said, I am driven away from your sight. How shall I look again upon your holy temple? The waters closed in over me, and the deep surrounded me. Weeds were wrapped around my head at the roots of the mountains. I went down to the land whose bars closed upon me forever, yet you brought up my life from the pit. O oh Lord my God, as my life was ebbing away, I remembered, Lord, and my prayer came to you, into your holy temple. Those who worship vain idols forsake their true loyalty. But I, with the voice of thanksgiving, will sacrifice to you what I have vowed I will pay. Deliverance belongs to the Lord. Then the Lord spoke to the fish, and it spewed Jonah out upon dry land. And in that passage, it's saying that you know, Jonah has Jonah has said, "Okay, I surrender. I I will do what you've asked of me," um, because he realizes that there's nothing else he can do. Um, and that is what we had decided as a band. Um, we're not going to run from from God's calling. We're not going to make excuses anymore. Um, we're going to do what God has called us to do. Um, also, kind of our our band um, our band. Uh, Scripture verse, kind of, kind of what we want to live by, and what people we want people to um, to realize is that the, what we're trying to do is is it in Luke Luke twelve um, forty nine through fifty one it says, um, I came to bring fire to the earth, and how I wish it were already kindled. I have a baptism with which to be baptized, and what stress I am under until it is completed. Do you think that I have come to bring peace to the earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. That is talking about, wow, our job on earth is to set it on fire, to set it on fire for, for God. And our job, as, a, as what we've perceived our job as a band, is, is, to, is to start kindling, is to um, plant these seeds of, of God's love and of what He's done for us, and to just worship Him and thank Him for all that He's done. And so we really um, just want to live by you know, setting the world on fire. Uh, as you as you listen to bands on the radio, as you listen, to, if you go to concerts, um, things like that, you listen to good speakers. One thing that I, we as a band, would like to um, strive for you to understand is that it's it's not those people that you need to be focused on. Oh, this band's really good. I like their music, or um, their music moves me. It's not it's not the band. God has blessed the band with the gift. It's all God. Everything that we do in, in our lives is to honor and glorify God, and it's because of God that we're able to do those things. God gives bands musical talent and the ability to do these things, and so as we just want you to keep in mind that when you're listening to praise and worship, when you're worshiping God, you need to be focused on God 
not the presenter, not the speaker, not the band that's playing the music, because ultimately it's God that allowed that to happen, and so you need to be focused on Him.